Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will discuss credential verification with ECFMG and the Medical Council of Canada. If you have already verified your credential with ECFMG and now you want to appear in Canadian licensing exams, what do you need to do? Similarly, if you have verified your credentials with Medical Council of Canada, now you want to appear in USMLE, what is the process? If you are new to this channel, my name is Paul. I post videos on the US and Canadian licensing exams every week. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. Now let's jump into the video. First, let's talk about why it is so important to know the verification process with ECFMG and MCC. Because this is fairly common for IMGs to appear both in USMLE and MCC exams. I did the same and I know the process. However, I made some mistakes. Hopefully, you will not make any mistakes after watching this video. Let's start with ECFMG. You have verified credentials with ECFMG. Generally, ECFMG will verify your medical degree diploma and medical transcript for the USMLE exams. Now you want to appear in MCC exams. You might think you will be able to appear in MCC with ECFMG verification, which is partially true. But you still need to create an account with physiciansapply.ca then have to create a source verification request or SVR and pay all the necessary fees. Then MCC will send those documents to ECFMG for verification. As you already have verified documents to ECFMG, ECFMG will not send those documents to your medical school. Rather, confirm to MCC that the exact documents have been verified. Within a few days, MCC will update your file as verification pass. Now the reverse. Say you have source verified with MCC now you want to appear in USMLE. What is the process? In that case, you still have to go through the same process as a fresh applicant. That means you need to get USMLE ID, submit for ECFMG certification, submit form 186, submit an online application, form 183 if it applies. This is very important. When it comes to medical credential verification, you need to send an email to ECFMG mentioning that you have already verified your credentials with MCC through ECFMG. Also, do not forget to add your USMLE ID, EICS number, and MCC candidate code. The email address is info at ecfmg.org. ECFMG will decide the next step and will get back to you with further information. You can also call ECFMG if you have any doubt during the process. Now, keep in mind that ECFMG needs both a medical degree and medical transcript verification for the USMLE exam, whereas MCC needs only a medical degree for the MCC exams. So if you haven't verified your medical transcript with MCC, ECFMG will request that. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you have a particular question, please comment down below. Again, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. This means a lot to this channel. Thank you so much for watching.